Oh, hey guys, Dark Derek here again, and uh, this time I've got an OU battle with uh, some dude from Smogun, I don't remember his name. I'm trying out my new team, uh, uses some Pokemon that I really like, so, uh, anyways, I lead Starmie, he leads Ape, uh, he switches to Shaman, predicting the rather obvious Surf. Doesn't do much. I'm adjusting my camera care, because I fail at setting up cameras. So now I'm gonna go to Thundercrow, because I know he could take any move Shaman throws at him if he uses Leech Seed, he gets Liquid Ooze, and, you know, he's a special wall, so he's not gonna take much of anything. He goes, he goes for Seed Flare, it actually does a decent chunk to Thundercrow, there's a lot more than I thought it was gonna do, but, you know. It is a 120 power move. So now he's going to go to Metagross, predicting the uh, Sludge Bomb or Ice Beam, but I'm going to set up my Toxic Spikes, because I knew, um, judging from the damage from this first Seed Flare, that he wouldn't be able to kill me. So now I'm going to go to Swamp right here, because I know he could take any move that Metagross throws at him, and I need to get my rocks up too, because Stealth Rocks are the best move in the game. He goes to Shaman, and I set up my rocks. Nothing much to say here. Okay, so now I'm going to switch out and go to Tentacruel. He goes for Seed Flare and he misses, which, you know, whatever. Gets hurt by Poison. Ugh, end of turn effects. So now he goes for Earth Power, which I completely forgot Shaman could learn, but I thought Tentacruel could take it pretty well. But, you know, of course, he gets the crit. Yeah, it's just wonderful. But, uh, luckily, Tentacruel lives it, because he's awesome, and I get to set up my last layer of Toxic Spikes. Yeah, I couldn't come up with any better nicknames for some of my Pokémon, so some of the nicknames are really terrible. Forgive me. So now I'm going to go to Salamence. Because I know he was going to go for the Seed Player or Earth Power, neither of which would have done much or anything at all to Salamence. Now, now he stays in for some reason. I guess he just wanted to die, but, you know. Salamence will grant him that wish as I Draco Meteor him to death. So Salamence throws Meteors at him and he blows up and dies. Then I was going to Ape, and I, I didn't think Ape could do anything to Salamence, so, you know, I just went for Earthquake, and it turns out I'm faster, so he's not running max speed in front of Ape, which, uh, you kind of should. Uh, I don't even know why he went to Ape, though. Ape, unless it carried, like, the random Hidden Power Ice for no particular reason, but whatever. So I was going to Latias, and I'm pretty sure Latias will be quicker than me, so I'm going to switch out and go to Tentacruel as Death Fodder just to see what he does. He's going to go for Dragon Pulse. Gets a useless crit. Wouldn't have mattered. I went up to him as Death Fodder anyway, so whatever. So I'm going to go to Metagross. Completely forget about Hidden Power Fire that every Latias carries, and he's going to do a lot with that, but luckily Metagross lives it, and that lets me set up my agility. So now he's going to switch out, and he's going to go to his own Metagross, predicting the rather obvious Meteor Mash. And, uh, I get a crit here. Uh, I don't know if it mattered or not, because I'm just going to use Earthquake again, and I'm quicker and stuff. But, um, if it did matter, he did get the, uh, crit Earth Power on Tentacruel, which did matter a little. Uh, so, you know, fair is fair. So I just Earthquake him to death. He's going to go to Dust Noir now. And gets badly poisoned and stealth rock damage. And he's going to go for Shadow Snake, and he actually doesn't kill Metagross, and I get to Meteor Mash him before I go down. And, um, I take a huge amount of his life away, which is very nice. Now I'm going to go to Mence, because, you know, I figured that's the best way to take him out. I go for Earthquake, because I was almost certain it would kill a Dust Noir, who's, like, on the fringe of red, but of course he lives with, like, a quarter, like, nothing. And he pain splits me, which sucks, because now he's going to restore almost half his hit points, and I lose a ton. And now I'm going to Draco Meteor to make sure that Dust Noir dies. And, uh, he will indeed die from it. So now he's going to go to Latias, and I just went for Outrage just in case, you know, he went for Calm Mind or Recover or something, or I was faster, but I'm not. Many Dragon Pulses. Gets another crit, not like it, you know, really matters. And he's going to take me out. So now I'm going to go to Gyarados, because, um, you know, I want to set up and sweep his team. But I, compl I remember about Thunderbolt, so I'm going to go to Swamp right now just to see if he carries it, and he does indeed carry it, so Swampert absorbs that. Now he's going to recover, which sucks, because my Swampert doesn't carry Ice Beam for some reason. I carry Stone Edge, and that doesn't do anything at all, Latias. So Stone Edge is a terrible move on Swampert. So I'm, I should probably get a new Swampert. He's going to Dragon Ball, so that's going to do a lot, and I'm going to roar him out. And he's, his last is an Arcanine, and I know that my only chance of winning this battle is to set up with Gyarados, because... Starmie doesn't carry Ice Beam. My Starmie doesn't carry Ice Beam. And this Swampert can't touch... Neither Swampert or uh, Starmie can't touch Latias. So my only chance is to set up with Gyarados. So I'm going to go to Gyarados now and try to use this Arcanine as setup fodder. But he carries Will-O-Wisp, and thank God he missed. But now that I know that he has Will-O-Wisp, I'm kind of backed into a corner here. I don't really have anything to do. If he, if he burns Gyarados, I can't beat that Latias. But if I don't set up with Gyarados, I'm not going to win. So my only... Yeah, he gets another crit. My only chance of winning is to set up with Gyarados and pray to God that he misses Will-O-Wisp, because if he hits, I can't win, but if I don't set up, I can't win. So, he's going to fire a blast on the switch. Uh, doesn't do that much. 
for end of turn effects. With the damage. I'm gonna go for Dragon Dance, and I'm I hoping that Will Whisper miss, and it does indeed miss, which is very very nice. Which means now I I now have a chance to win this. And his Arcanine will obviously die from a waterfall. I do a quick damage calc here, and I realize that my uh, waterfall will do about half to Latias. So I'm just going to go for a waterfall. Even if he lived it, if he didn't go for Thunderbolt, I could just smack him again and bring him back down that low. But, and if he uh, did go for Thunderbolt, I could just take him out because, you know, he'd be really weak. So anyways, uh, good game there. Really close match. And uh, tell me what you think of my OU team and uh, Dark Dark out.